Um, hey guys, it's Kevin again. This will be the final review that I have to catch up on. Then I can just make the rest of the videos later. Um, but I do have to do my movie review because I'm late. And I actually did not get to finish this movie until just now. I just finished it. And um, th uh, that movie is Mama. Now, this was a movie I was really looking forward to seeing because one, Scary Movie 5 parried it, and it seemed like a very interesting movie from what Scary Movie 5 did with it. Even though it was like a silly movie, it did seem like a really cool premise in Scary Movie 5. Even though it was a silly in Scary Movie 5, this movie seemed like a very cool premise. So as soon as I heard about it, I did look it up, and from the moment I looked it up, I wanted to see it right away. One, because from Guillermo del Toro, who... He's very good with his movies. He doesn't make movies that are very scary. Like, none of his movies are necessarily very scary. Like, Don't Be Afraid of the Dark. I love that movie with Bailey Madison. It's not scary, though. Um, but Mama is pretty frightening. It is. It is frightening, but it's really, really awesome. And I really did enjoy it. Um... So the movie's pretty much about, I will just read to it, it says here, uh, two little girls who disappear into the woods the day that their parents were killed, but the young sisters are found alive in a decrypted cabin. Their uncle and his girlfriend take them in as they try to introduce the children to a normal life. Annabelle begins to wonder if the traumatized girls are the only guests um, they have welcomed into their house. And um, as the movie goes on, we continue to learn that these two girls haunted by this um, demon that nobody else can see but them, Mama. And um, so yeah, I did think it was really creepy and it was really good and it was a really good horror movie. It definitely makes up for, you know, what we had last year. Like last year we had The Devil Inside. We didn't get a horror movie till The Woman in Black. But this time we got two horror movies in January because I don't even want to talk about Texas Chainsaw. Honestly, that just sounds like a silly movie from the title. But... Let me just talk about a few things in Mama. First of all, the effects in this movie blew my mind away. They are so good. Like, the effects are really good. Look at that right there. That's really good. The, the effects in this movie are quite good. Guillermo del Toro is always known for doing that. Like, in Don't Be Afraid of the Dark, he had really good-looking um, aliens or whatever they were. You know, monsters in Don't Be Afraid of the Dark. In this... Everything is great. The other great thing about it is, just like in Don't Be Afraid of the Dark, they don't reveal what Mama looks like until the end. And I really enjoyed that. So, yeah, I did really enjoy that. Now, the other thing I want to talk about are the performances. Now, there's no one particularly amazing here, particularly everyone in the cast is really great. I actually thought Jessica Chastain was quite good in this, but the two kids for me were the real highlights of this. Especially towards the end, which I will talk about. Like, Jessica Chastain, they just threw her on here because she's an Oscar winner. She's really great in this, but who really is shined are the two kids, I think. I think they really, are, they're the main focus of the movie, and they're who you care about the most, of course. So, now I'm going to get into some spoilers for Mama. So, if you haven't seen Mama, uh, don't watch the rest of this review because these are really big spoilers. So, the first big spoiler I want to talk about is when we finally see Mama. She looked amazing, honestly. The CGI version of Mama was really good. Um, just this right here, just you see like the, it just, she looked amazing. Mama did, it was great. Um, the other thing that I want to talk about, of course, is the ending. A lot of people have a problem with the ending. I didn't have a problem, I thought it was a beautiful ending. People don't understand the ending. Mama is supposed to be their mother. It's a person who had loved them all this time. Lily, of course, you know how Lily got separated from Victoria. Victoria stayed with Annabelle and her uncle. Even though she stayed with Annabelle, that bug was the form of Lily saying, I'll be right here. Don't forget me. And then she flew away. So Lily's pretty much saying to her, she will be there for her not to forget her. And honestly, it was a beautiful ending, in my opinion. I don't know what everyone's problem with the ending was, because I really liked the ending. I didn't think it was weird at all. I thought you just have to kind of understand it. I, it's not that bad of an ending. This is how most of 
feel me out those horror movies. And I've only seen one of his other movies, Don't Be Afraid of the Dark. Both of them have ended the same way. Both of them have ended the same way with a creature, you know, turning into a mythical creature. And I think I understand it. I think it makes perfect sense. Um, the other thing I want to talk about, of course, is um, the scene with um, Jessica Chat with um, the two girls. Now I want to talk about why I thought it was so amazing. When Lily got separated from Victoria, he, that was an amazing scene right there because Victoria's just like calling out to Lily. She's crying for her life, and just everyone in that scene was amazing. Jessica Chastain was her too amazing in that scene. Now, the only reason I didn't like Jessica Chastain in this movie is because of her character. In the movie, she's a hard rocker, and she's kind of annoying in the beginning, but once she starts to care for the girls, you really do enjoy her character. I gotta say, the beginning of the movie was a little bit dry. I didn't love the beginning of the movie, but once Jessica Chastain and their, you know, once Annabelle and their uncle come to pick up Lily and Victoria, then you really start to enjoy the movie, and it gets really, really good. So overall, I, I'll give Mama a 9.5 out of 10. It's definitely a really good horror movie, and I'm really glad that I did get this movie. And if you're wondering if it's a really good horror movie, you know, you're not sure about the reviews, I say definitely pick it up. It's definitely a really good horror movie that's out. And it kind of is a little bit, it's kind of towards the end, it gets a little heartwarming, actually. I mean, Mama is not a bad person. She's just very protective of these two girls and will hurt anyone who tries to who tries to take them away from her. Honestly, it's almost like a regular parent. If you're a parent out there, you know, it's Mother's Day. This was like the perfect movie to put out on Mother's Day because it's a horror movie really in disguise. It's really a heartwarming movie about this mother and these two kids. What if your ch child was separated from you? What would you do? What Mama does. Mama would try to get the person who took their children. That's exactly what Mama does. So honestly, Mama is not a bad person. She just harms people who take her kids. And I really thought it was a really good horror movie, and I really did enjoy it, and I definitely recommend you check out Mama. So that's it for my movie review of Mama. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!